tens of thousands live in camps like these. Many of them fled here during the 2011 famine or to escape conflict outside the capital. The Somali government now wants to resettle them in outlaying suburbs. Many IDPs fear those areas are not safe. There is rape and robbery, and we'll rather stay in the camps within the city than get exposed to insecurity. Others have found a way to make a living in the capital and fear the relocation would sever their lifeline. I think they should either take us back to our initial home districts and regions or let us live here where we are now used to. The government, however, says this is a move to provide better facilities to the camp dwellers. What we want is to ensure that the IDPs get better places to live with better facilities and schools. We want the children of the IDPs to get opportunities for schools and learning. This relocation will also be good for both the beauty and security of the city. Some rights groups say the camp dwellers are vulnerable to physical abuse and sexual violence. They have also criticized attempts to evict the IDPs. The government, though, insists the relocation program will go ahead. Officials say they're trying to rebuild the capital after many years of fighting and that there's no place in that plan for squatter camps. Mohamed Vimogen, CCTV, Mogadishu.